There are now just under 300,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus and almost 13,000 deaths. Today, the dire situation in Italy got even worse, while China marks a new milestone. Ian Lee in London has the first of two reports. This could be a glimpse of America's future. Crowded Italian hospitals struggling to cope. Here, exhausted doctors decide who lives and who dies. There's no room for other patients at this hospital in Lombardy. Everyone here has the coronavirus. Doctors flip them regularly to relieve the pressure on their lungs. Most won't make it. A disaster is a tsunami. In the past 24 hours, 793 people have in the past 24 hours, 793 people have died. It's not only Italy's deadliest day, but the deadliest day since the outbreak began. Scenes like this could become our new reality, towards Dr. Michael Ryan of the World Health Organization. This is not normal. This isn't just a bad flu season. These are health systems that are collapsing under the pressure of too many cases. The cases that don't make it end up here. With the morgue overflowing, bodies are stored in this chapel. Every person died alone, without family or friends. Army trucks carry them away to a local cemetery to be buried quickly before more bodies arrive. It's been two weeks since the first confirmed coronavirus death in the UK. And since then, the mortality rate over the same period has risen faster than it. What we just saw could be a look of what's to come. I'm Ian Lee in London.